The second part of our aquifer study is a look at, of the, at the Edwards Aquifer, which feeds much of central Texas. Edwards Aquifer is confined to the Edwards Limestone, which is a Cretaceous Age limestone. It is full of interconnected fractures that make up the place where the water can flow through the limestone. This is a place near Del Rio, Texas, where the Edwards Aquifer limestone rises above the surface and you can have a good solid look at it. And here is a map of the Edwards Aquifer running all the way from Salado, Texas, north of Austin, south through San Antonio, and then turning towards the west through Uvalde, Brackettville, and Del Rio. The Edwards Aquifer is in uh, blue and green along here, and you can see several places where natural springs are circled. Natural springs are a really important way that early people found out where groundwater was. Barton Springs in Austin, Texas is a natural spring in the Edwards Aquifer and the spring actually arises, this is a fault right here, that juxtaposes the Edwards limestone up against other older rock and down underneath the water just off the picture here is where the spring water actually comes up into this body of water. It makes a lovely natural swimming hole if you're ever in Austin. So a couple of important things to know about aquifers. There's an area that we call the catchment area or the recharge area for a confined aquifer. This is where the water gets into the ground. And for the Edwards Aquifer, that area is in the plains to the north and west of the place where the aquifer is confined and tapped and comes out to the surface in springs. So the two-dimensional cross-section looks a little bit like this. You can see underneath the Glen Rose limestone and then the Edwards aquifer limestone and then a younger limestone on top of that and the aquifer is is quite cracked. It's tilting. The rock is tilting gently in this area towards the southeast and therefore the catchment area is above ground to the west and water infiltrates and sinks and flows through the Edwards Aquifer till it becomes underground and confined in the Artesian zone. This is another cross-section of the Edwards Aquifer showing in more detail the drainage area of the hill country and the recharge zone and then the Artesian springs and wells that are characteristic along the Edwards Aquifer. Part of the reason there is uplift here is the Balcones Fault Zone, and the Balcones Fault Zone is a very, uh, very famous area that uplifts the hill country of Texas to the west from the coastal plain to the east. And it is along this fault zone that you get fracturing that allows water to flow into and recharge the Edwards Aquifer. 80% of the recharge in Edwards Aquifer comes from streams, and that's one reason why in many of the towns along here you'll see signs reminding people that they are in the watershed for Barton Creek or Williamson Creek or Onion Creek because uh, garbage and oil and contaminants that are in the creek will end up in the aquifer, and that is the drinking water for many communities along here.